Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, J.J. Abrams currently is hard at work on developing the final film of this trilogy that will bring an end to the Skywalker Saga itself. Now, these past couple of weeks, we have been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the scene schedules, the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now today, I wanted to get on the subject of the ending of Star Wars Episode 9. A lot of people have been talking about on exactly how JJ will handle the very ending of Episode 9. A lot of people would argue and debate that JJ is a great fixer, but not a great closer. And that's leaving a lot of people worried for the very ending of Episode 9. Now, a couple of days ago, you guys may have heard about some new details of the ending of the movie, light details about how they are approaching this and how it's going to be a very unpredictable ending by the fans. Now, additionally, portions of the ending of the film are apparently being rewritten for the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren. Now, there's no word on how major of the change it will be, it, but it does have all to do with the ending and how they are going to make it as unique as possible and that the ending is said to be unpredictable by all the fans. The end scenes are going to be shot this December of 2018. So this also lines directly up with what J.J. Abrams has been rewriting with Chewbacca and apparently Luke Skywalker as well. Honestly, I think that he actually tinkered with the script a little bit for Chewbacca in order to write in scenes uh, for Chewie with Lando Calrissian. As far as Luke Skywalker, I have no idea what JJ is doing. But the whole ending that has to do with Rey and Kylo Ren being tinkered with in the script, that is something that honestly is really making me wonder as to what's going to happen at the very end of this movie. We have heard that it's not going to be like Return of the Jedi. It's going to be a very original ending unlike any Star Wars film before, which is honestly giving a lot of ideas by the fans that maybe this is going to be a sad ending, or at the very least, a bittersweet ending where essentially maybe the dark side or the First Order wins in this case, leaving open the possibility for an episode 10, 11, and 12 where Kylo is still the villain, but with new, you know, heroes coming into play up against him. I could see that as a very interesting way of making a 10, 11, and 12, you know, giving Adam Driver three more movies to essentially sign up for and do. I think that could be a very interesting angle for sure if they really wanted to go that way. Now, looking at, you know, Star Wars Episode 9 as a whole, J.J. Abrams has said, I think it was like a year and a half ago, that he doesn't plan on making this a direct copy of any other Star Wars film. So it's not going to be like a beat for beat like in Star Wars The Force Awakens for A New Hope. Now, looking at The Force Awakens, you can see a lot of beats of A New Hope. And going into Episode 9, apparently it's not going to be like that with Return of the Jedi. It's going to be a unique film in and on itself, and the ending is going to be so unpredictable by the fans and extremely unique. And right, right now, they are actually rewriting a lot of portions of the script involving the characters of Rey and Kylo for the last part of the third act of the movie. So we do know that the original script by Colin Trevorrow all right, Daisy Ridley read it. She was crying about her character, Rey. And that opens up a lot of discussions, right? As to exactly what was going to happen to Rey in Colin's script. Did she die? Uh, did something happen to her? Did she learn a certain truth that made her, you know, all dramatic? We really have no clue as to why Daisy Ridley was crying about her character. If she's crying about her character, one would be led to assume that it's, you know, her dying, her character dying, something so unexpected and doing something so different, I think, could have very well, you know, left Daisy Ridley unguarded and just kind of like shocked by reading that script. So going into episode nine, maybe, and I'm just saying this is a big maybe, maybe J.J. Abrams is adopting whatever idea Colin had for Ray 
and kind of putting that in the script now because maybe it fits more, you know, well with the overall storyline. So I would really love to hear your ideas about what you think the ending of the movie is going to be. As of right now, apparently they are rewriting little scenes here and there involving both Kylo and Rey for the very ending of episode 9. And also a lot of these scenes are to be shot this December of 2018. Meanwhile, you know, the end of principal photography comes in February of 2019. So, like I say, a lot of these movies, they shoot out of order in January and, January and February. They could very well be doing scenes that take place in the middle of the film, for all we know. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.